here in this module uh, we will study we will understand the electrical properties of the materials like uh, the conductors metals so now we'll let us uh, we come to the assumptions what you have see i told you that classical free electron theory that is proposed by drude and lorentz with uh, certain uh, assumptions so now uh, what were those assumptions in order to explain the conductivity is uh, we have list here see it was said that uh, electrons uh, here uh, in the theory in the, in the discussion in the explanation uh, used uh, the kinetic theory of gases isn't it so the kinetic energy of the gas molecules is given by 3 by 2 kt here since uh, gas molecules are assumed as just like uh, i mean in the here the electron is assumed just like the gas molecules so the kinetic energy is also is taken to be 3 by 2 kt okay and uh, in overall explanation uh, of the electric conductivity uh, the drude and lorentz uh, made uh, other uh, assumptions that is uh, the mutual repulsion between electrons electron electron right, so repulsion and the attraction of electron on the uh, positive course are taken to be negligible say they did not consider the good amount of uh, values for repulsive nature between the electrons and uh, the attraction between the electron and the positive or the ion ion course so mutual repulsion between the electrons and the attraction between the electron and the positive cores are considered to be negligible what is the idea of this it is it tells you it implies that electrons are assumed to be moving in a constant potential it doesn't feel any uh, changes in the potential that is the uh, overall observation so the electrons are assumed to be moving in a constant potential and here in this uh, explanation uh, for this uh, conductivity they they have used uh, the maxwell distribution statistics the distribution of electrons in various energy levels according to the maxwell boltzmann distribution law and here the moving electrons are assumed to be uh, can have any energy any arbitrary energy can be possessed by the electron you know that according to quantum mechanics the electron cannot have any energy the values are discrete spontized isn't it so now here according to classical picture under classical picture they have assumed that the moving electron can have any continuous continuous energy values okay and uh, they have assumed that uh, the electrical conductivity in metals is due to the drift velocity of the electron is that is known see when electron moves then only you have the electrical conductivity so what is the velocity responsible here termed as drift velocity under the application of external field a potential electrons uh, move they, they all those different directions now will become one particular unidirection all the other direction now turn turn down to single direction that is okay the electrical conductive metals are due to the drift velocity of the electrons in the direction opposite to the so now coming to the merits and demerits of classical free electron theory so the merits what are the advantages of classical free electron theory this is a classical free electron theory successfully explained the ohm's law and high electrical conductivity it explains successfully the ohm's law and the electrical conductivity why atom metals are high electrical conductors but fails to give some uh, clear uh, distinction between conductors insulators and as well semiconductors it also fails to explain uh, the specific heat of solids the temperature dependence of electrical conductivity dependence of electrical conductivity on electron charge the concentration etc and so on. so 